Shubh Swagatam and welcome to this evening's Sandhya. As you have already performed the Obedi Puja, ablations and offerings to the respected feet of Bhagavati Mata, Durga Bhavani, we are about to join in a beautiful katha taken from the golden pages of Idevi Bhagavatam. But before journeying to Katha this evening, I invite your Krabuchai, please stand as we join in our opening Arti this evening. Om Sajam Chavarati Samyoktam Vahina Yojatamaya Deepagrihana Devasya Trehalukyati Mirapam O maya suno miri devi Paravata vasini Tera parana paya Tera parana paya Suno mori devi Paravata vasini Tera parana paya Tera parana paya Oh, 
This evening we grasp an opportunity to offer salutations to the lotus like feet of Lord Shiva. Wherever there is Durga, there is Shankar, and wherever there is Shiva, there is Parvati. This evening, salutations to the Divine Mother. Bambole Hare Muraman Kamana Uda Kare Bole Hare Muraman Kamana Uda Kare Jagadam, 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 Jagad
जगदम्बा देवी देखो तुम्हारा शिव जोगी गरम जगरम जगदम्बा देवी देखो तुम्हारा शिव जोगी अम्बा अम्बा जय जगदम्बा 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 अम्बा अम्बा ओ चामुंडाई विक्षे नमः बोले जगरम माता की जगरम में माता की जगरम माता की अपने अपने आस से लीजिए मेरा भी रिस्पेक्ट को सीख से वंस मर गैन शुभ स्वागतम एंड वेलकम टू ऑल भक्त सनिभूति इस जॉनी में तस मैं हम्बल प्रणाम So of course, Pandit Madan performing our puja, worship, ablations, and offerings to the feet of Devi Ma. So Pandit Darren joining with us this evening once more again. Devi Mata, blessings to you. To our shortest this evening, to Mata Ji, Sandra Su Chang, Dr. Su Chang, to their son Tyreek and other family members joining with us in puja this evening. Devi Mata, blessings to each and every one of you. This evening, I also take the opportunity to recognize Uncle Danny Ram, who is joining with us this evening, commonly known as the Murti Man, the man who has created the beautiful image of a Devi for us to worship. My humble pranams to your lotus-like feet, my dear friends and devotees. Swagatam and welcome to all those joining with us via our live stream on Media Concepts 29. Facebook and YouTube channel. My dear friends, devotees and bhaktas, as we are about to join in a beautiful katha, let us all sit upright. Let us draw our palms together. Let us close the physical eyes as we surrender to the feet of Bhagwan. Om Hari Om. to Lord Ganesh, the remover of all obstacles, the one who bestows the blessing of success, we pray and we ask of Lord Ganesha to bless us with success in today's worship, to remove any obstacles that may be within our path. Salutations unto them. Om. वक्रतुलना महाकाय सूर्यकोटि समाप्रभा निर्विगरम गुरमेदेवा सर्वकारेशु सर्वरा गचाननम भूतगनारिसेवितम कपित जंबो परसारवक्षितम उमासुतम शोकविनाशकारकम नमामि विगनेश्वर पार पंकजम सारितेशन सुलोच शिवा द डिस्ट्रॉयर ऑफ लस ग्रीन अंगा एंड हेट्रेड द डिवाइन लॉर्ड बिस्टोस द ब्लेसिंग ऑफ पीस लव हैप्पीनेस टुगेदरनेस एंड यूनिटी ओ भगवान मी फिल आवर यज्ञ आवर मंदिर आवर हार्ट्स 
our home. Our country and the world at large, O oh Bhagwan, with peace, with togetherness, and with unity. Salutations unto thee. Om Nagindrahara Yatrilochanaya Basmangaraya Yamaheshwaraya Nithaya Shudhaya Digambaraya Tasmay Nakaraya Om Namaha Shivai Salutation Sudurga Ma She is Jagat Janani Maya Tonight we worship her in the form of Skanda Mata the mother of Kartikeya Skanda Kumar that ever loving and merciful Devi Salutation Sanduri Om Sarva Mangala Mangaliye Shive Sarvat Sarike Sharanyetrayam Vike Gauri Narayani Namostute With love, Yadevi Sarva Bhuteshu Durga Rupena Samsita Namastasyai Namastasyai Namo Nama Yadevi Sarva Bhuteshu Lakshmi Rupena Samsita Namastasyai 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 Namo Nama Yadevi Sarva Bhuteshu Saraswati Rupena Samsita Namastasyai 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 Namo Nama Saraswati Vandana Bye. 
सरस्वती माता की जय शरणम मेरे भक्त सभी दिस इवनिंग ए ब्यूटीफुल कथा एज द 88000 ऋषिज एंड मुनीज गादर टुगेदर ऑन मेनी शारणिया दैट ब्यूटीफुल पर्वत दैट ब्यूटीफुल हिल दे आर आस्किंग ऑफ द ग्रेट एंड लर्न सेज वेद व्यास जी महाराज टू नारेट टू देम अबाउट द ग्रेटनेस ऑफ द Kanyakumari Puja. We all are accustomed during this period of the Navratri Vrat. We will see the Kumari Puja being done. But why do we perform Kanyakumari Puja? What are the blessings we get when we worship these little Kanyas? Where did this Puja originated from? Vedh Yashi Maharaj Bodhi. He tells to the Rishis and Munis. that one said of a great brahmana by the name of shridaram shridaram my dear friends was very poor he lived in a little kutia and within his kutia he had a beautiful murti of devi durga mata shridaram could barely buy food for himself to eat but he would ensure that the devi has parsad He could barely afford clothing to wear, but he ensures that the devi is wearing the best. Shridaram would live his life around serving the divine mother. He didn't care if he didn't have. He didn't care that he had a little kutia. What he cared about was worship the divine mother. Shridaram. what brought joy to him remember last night's katha devotion devotion brings everlasting happiness and devotion is what is bringing joy to shridaram how many of us devotion brings joy to our heart how many of us by just sitting in yajna tonight in the presence of devi mata our hearts are overflowing with joy This is a state that we should all be tonight. Shridaram. He goes into the village and he begins to prepare for his daily offerings. But the Navratri is slowly approaching, and as the Navratri is slowly approaching, he is anxiously waiting for that period to perform the Durga Puja. And as Shridaram goes into the village. the beautiful nagari to collect his ingredients on his daily puja something took place what took place the katha tells to us this evening sri durga sharanam mama sri durga sharanam mama sri durga sharanam mama devi sri durga sharanam mama shri durga sharanam mama shri durga sharanam mama shri durga sharanam mama devi shri durga sharanam mama Shri Guru 
दुर्गा शरणम मामा देवी से दुर्गा शरणम मामा शिर राम as he goes into the village and is picking the flowers the neep leaves the various ingredients to perform his puja the villagers are asking him o oh, shiradam day after day and night after night you worship that divine mother and he says of course my life is dedicated to her but shiradam as you worship the divine mother day after day night after night you claim that she is so powerful but why are you still living in a little kutia why sometimes you hardly have food to eat why do you wear sometimes ragged clothing why don't your devi provide for you you say that she is so powerful why don't she provide for you and shiram he tries to explain to them that these things in the material world doesn't matter to him all that matters to him is serving god but they are laughing at him shiram begins to feel so my dear friend how many of us as the votees of god we argue with god sometimes because we see a man who doesn't pray at all build a three story house and we live in a flat house we get angry with him bhagwan i am praying to you and yet i am living in a jupa and the person who doesn't even pray has a three story house ma am i wasting my time how many times do devotees ask god are you here are you listening to my prayer my dear friends always remember bhagwan teaches us do not become attached to the material things of the world enjoy to the fullest but do not make that your main priority in life your main priority in life should be to serve god and if you are unable to serve bhagwan through the medium of puja remember service to humanity is service to god serve god every day of your life that is the duty of life so shiram he feels good if someone tells us that immediately what would we do the question is what does shiram do the katha tells to us that very situation we are going home to quarrel with the devi isn't that so shiram goes home and he goes directly before the murti and as he goes before the murti of devi maya he holds on to her feet and tears begin to flow from his eyes shiram is hurt he is hurt to hear the way that the people in the village spoke about his devi shiram is hurt because of the way they spoke about his god today how many of us when someone is speak our dharma we feel hurt how many of us when someone is speak our dharma we stand up for our dharma baba se do fighter but bhagavad gita teaches you dharma rakshite rakshite dharma those who protect their dharma dharma will protect you 
Never allow anyone to ill speak your dharma. Once you have faith in your God, stand up and protect your dharma. How many of us this morning felt hurt to see where the Kali Murti was destroyed? How many of us when we saw that, we felt hurt in our hearts? Hmm? How many of us decided to stand up for your dharma? My dear friends, we must unite and stand for your dharma. When someone desecrates your murti or your dharma, someone will speak your dharma. Stand for your dharma. Protect your dharma. Be a dharma putra, a son of righteousness. Shiranam goes to the feet of Devi Ma and tears close from his eyes. And as he holds the feet of the Devi, he begins to pray, Ma, listen to my prayer. Suno mere Devi, Parvat Vasane, Tera Paran Paya, Maya Ji, Tera Paran. The very art he says, Suno mere Devi, Ma, listen to my prayer. And as he holds the feet of Devi, Ma, I want you to help the villagers. Oh, Ma, I want you to help them to understand how great and how powerful you are, O oh Devi. He doesn't pray for anything else. But he prays and he asks of the Devi to show everyone how powerful and how great you are, O oh Ma. My dear friend, when someone will speak our dharma, sometimes, you know, we say, today I was going through social media and looking at some of the comments. And 90% of the comments of where the murti was desecrated was more a lift you up. And bad things will happen to you, etc. Everybody has their karma. But nobody said, may Devi Maya bless that person to understand what they did was wrong and to learn from their mistake. This is what Sri Dham is asking for. He doesn't ask to destroy anyone. We are not given that authority. We are not given the authority to judge anyone. But we are given the authority to pray for each other. He prays to the Devi and he asks Ma, may you bless the villagers for they don't know better, Ma, forgive them. Ma, help them to understand how great and how powerful you are, Ma. And the tears is flowing from his eyes. Shiradam, his eyes closed at the feet of the Devi. And for mere moments, he fell asleep. And why is he sleeping there? The Devi appears in his dream. Sometimes the Devi speaks to us through the medium of our dreams. And she says, O oh Putra, O oh Son, the Navratri is coming very shortly. And I want you to perform a Vrat, a devotion. A devotion that will remove all the obstacles, the hurdles, the trials, the tribulations, the hardships of not only your life, but the life of your villagers. When we perform the Navratri Vrat, it is not just for yourself. When we worship the Divine Mother here today, and for these couple nights left, it is not just for the members of the Mandir and the family that donated the Murti and the Srotas, and for all the devotees that join in the devotion, but it's for the entire village and the country. This is how powerful our prayer is. She says, I want you to get the Nariyal Pal. And I want you to begin the worship to the Nariyal Pal. Starting from the very first Titi. But on the Ashtami Titi, I want you to perform Kanyakumari Puja. She did and woke up. He knew it was the Devi talking to him. Because when he wake up, my dear friends, tears were still flowing from his eyes. 
She didn't clasp his hand. And you know what he did? When we get an auspicious dream, an auspicious message from the Davies and Deltas, when you are waking in the morning, we must offer salutations. Jaga Janani Jai Jai Ma Jaga Janani Jai Jai Beharini Bhavatarini Bhava Bhamini Jai Jai Ma Bhava Bhamini Jai Jai Shidadam he felt joy in his heart. He felt happiness in his heart. Do you know why? The mother has spoken to him. He doesn't see it as a burden to perform the, the Navratri Vrat, you know. He's anxious to perform it. Just like each and every one of us joining in puja, I'm sure all of you wonderful bhaktas were anxiously awaiting for the Navratri Vrat. Anxiously awaiting to worship that Divine Mother anxiously are waiting to perform her puja and her offering. Shridharam doesn't wait of one minute. He begins to clean his home. When we are preparing for the Navratri, we begin to clean our homes. Isn't that so? But whilst we clean our homes, and we will change the curtains, etc., clean the altars, we must begin to purify the body. This is why prior to the Navratri Vat, we begin fasting. Purifying the body, we must also now purify the madna. Remember the mind, man ki aake The mind is very chanchal. But how do we purify the mind? Anybody knows? By performing ja. By japping the name. By chanting the bhajan, this is why Diwali is coming up. And I'm sure that you all are going to clean your homes for Diwali. And when you are cleaning your home for Diwali, if you don't put on the radio and monitor and listen to some nice Diwali bhajan, then you feel it's not Diwali. Isn't that so? When you listen to the bhajans, you're not just listening to the bhajan, but it's purifying the mind. Music, my dear friends, purifies that mind. It purifies your mind. We purify the body, our homes, our altar. He's preparing to welcome the baby. Shiradam goes and he gets that beautiful nariya pal, the beautiful coconut. And as he gets that coconut, the titi is there. The Navratri Vrat is about to begin. And what does Shiradam do? The Kathadal Swasa sees him. Jai 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 Jagadamba Bhavani Jai 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 Jagadamba Bhavani Jai 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 Jagadamba Bhavani Amba Bhavani Jagadamba Bhavani Amba Bhavani Jagadamba Bhavani Jai 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 Jagadamba Bhavani Jai 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 Jagadamba Bhavani gets that beautiful Nariyal Pal. And as he gets the Nariyal Pal, my dear friends, Shiradam, he ensures that the coconut is perfect. How many of us, when we went to get our coconut to begin our grat, we look for the best coconut. The coconut has a cap on top of it. He washed that coconut. He allowed the coconut to dry. And there, the Navratri breath begins. In the morning, very early, he gets up, he creates a triangular hole, leap him with a gopar, and he offers the Durgadar. Remember from last night, Katha? The Durgadar that is prepared with love and devotion, the outpouring of one's love. He outpoured that love through the medium of the Durgadar. In the evening, Navratri is now nine. Ratri means night. Nine nights of worship to the Devi. He begins to worship the Divine Mother. Before the image of Devi, he takes the coconut. 
He places it on a piece of yellow cloth. He places the knee leaves. And he holds the coconut. He begins to pray to Devi Ma. Oh Ma, may you accept this offering. As I'm about to perform your puja, may you bless not only myself, but may you bless my villagers, my country, oh Ma. May you help those who are blinded by the Mahamaya to see that light of divinity, oh Maya. He prays selflessly and not selfishly. How many of us, when we go before Bhagwan to pray, we pray selflessly? But how many of us go before Bhagwan to pray? Bhagwan, I need a BMW. Bhagwan, I need a raise in my pay. But I think everybody needs it now. Bhagwan, I need this, that, the other. But how many of us go before Bhagwan to pray? Bhagwan, bless those who are sick in the hospital bed. Bhagwan, bless those family that is in distress. I still have food, Bhagwan. There are families that don't have none. Bhagwan, bless them. We must begin now more than ever to pray selflessly. We must begin now more than ever to pray for others because people are going to suffer more. And now we are the ones who must pray for them as well. And I ask every Divine Mother to cover them with food, with shelter, with clothing, with good health, with strength, and with longevity. And when we pray for others, what is your blessing? You have gained the blessing of the Divine Mother because you are serving her. You are called a Dharma Putra. He holds the coconut and he prays, Ma. The fiber in the coconut represents the trials, the tribulations, the hurdles in life. Have you ever tried to bust a coconut? A whole coconut with a cutlash? And when you hit the coconut, the pitch and the reach by the know? The obstacles that it brings to you. But when you remove the fiber, there is a hard shell. When you think you're finished, Jai Bhagwan, there's the hard shell. Like life, sometimes, when you think your problems are no longer, Jai Bhagwan, one huge problem comes, one huge problem comes. And then we say, Bhagwan, you mean to say a next problem? That is your final test. Do not give up. Do not give up. The hard shell in the coconut is your final test. It represents the hardship that we face. But when we offer this coconut to the Devi, and it is burnt, or whether the coconut is charahami and cracked. When the, when the coconut, coconut is cracked, once it's good, you meet with the white jelly and the sea water. Purity and prosperity. This is the blessing. He prays, Ma, may you bless my village with purity and with prosperity. He holds the coconut and he prays. Jai 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 Jagadamba Bhavani Jai 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 Jagadamba Bhavani Amma Bhavani Jagadamba Bhavani Amma Bhavani Jagadamba Bhavani Jai 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 Jagadamba Bhavani Jai 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 Jagadamba Bhavani Jai 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 Jagadamba Bhavani Bodhi Jagadamba Mataki Jai Shiradam, taking that coconut, as we all would have done on the very first day of Inavratri. He artists the Devi with the coconut and beautifully he wraps the coconut. And as he wraps the coconut, he places it before the image of the Devi. When you go before Durga Mata tonight, you see there's a coconut wrapped and placed by her feet. Sometimes you may see the coconut is wrapped in yellow cloth. Sometimes we may see it wrapped in red cloth. And we may ask the question, but which is the correct color? The both is correct. But it's for different purpose and different reason. When we wrap the coconut, when we offer the yellow dhvaja, the flag, we are praying and offering thanksgiving. When we offer the yellow, we are offering for thanksgiving. When we offer red, it is because we are praying for a desire, for something. Like if you look on our altar, all of our coconuts are wrapped in red cloth. Why? We are praying and we are asking of the mother to bring protection to this community, to bring protection to this country. We are inviting the presence of the mother here and we are asking of her for something. For protection. 
to guide our people, to protect our dharma. So, when we are praying for desire, we offer the way. And so, Shiranam, he wraps the pokara beautifully. He places it at the feet of Devi Maya, and there he begins to worship the pokara. Every night he will offer water upon the coconut three times. He will offer chandan, a hardy sindur tilak. He will offer the sugandham, the very perfume, the neem leaves, the flowers, the akshatam rice grains. He will keep that dia lighting 24 7. I know many of you in your homes, there are the diyas that are lighting. For the blessings of the Divine Mother. He will offer pearl fruit, prasad to the Devi for nourishment. He has invited the presence of the Devi and he must give her nourishment. So she will be powerful to bring that darshan and that blessing. And every day he worships the Kukar. Every day he will offer the Chandan, the Hardi, the same thing. As the days are going by, he remembers the Divine Mother has instructed on the Ashtami Tipi to perform Kanyakumari Puja. The Kanyakumari Puja, he goes into the village to select the Kumaris. How do we select the Kumaris for Kumari Puja? Devi Bhagavatam, the Devi teaches us that when we are selecting the Kumaris to the Kumari Puja, they must be born out of a wedded couple. That Kumari must not have any faults in their body. The Kumari must be perfect in health because the Kumari represents the Devi. It is not that you are discriminating any children, but you are going to worship the Kumari. And each Kumari brings a different blessing. So according to Devi Bhagavatam, Devi Maya is saying, this is how you select the Kumari. According to Devi Bhagavatam, these children are supposed to come from vegetarian home. But we know it is difficult to get. So we ensure that the children fast prior to the puja. These children are going to represent the nine Kumaris. Shiranam goes into the village and he begins to select these children. But as he selects the children, they are laughing at him. You don't have food for you to eat. You're inviting us to come to your home. How are you going to feed us? How are you going to perform such intense puja? How are you going to give gifts to these children? And she didn't pause for a moment. And you know something? He doesn't know himself. Have you ever put a date for a puja and you don't know where you get any money to do the puja? I know many people would have put date for puja and didn't know how they're going to buy the ghee because the ghee is 300 at him now. They didn't know how they are going to do the puja but they were preparing. You know why? That is when you have peace. That is when you have faith in the Divine Mother. I know with your blessing and with your dharshan, this puja will become possible. Sometimes you put it for puja and Devi tests you, you know. She bring one obstacle to you and the money you had put away for the puja, you had to use it. And then you worry, what would I do? Should I cancel the puja? No. Keep faith. 
everything will work out. The mother has a way in testing it. Shiriram doesn't know how he's going to feed his people. Shiriram doesn't know how he's going to do this puja. But he knows the mother blessings is there. And he knows that wherever the mother blessings is, success will be there. But you must have faith and confidence in the divine. Shiriram, he doesn't answer them. But he selects the Kumaris and he returns home. And why is he returned home? He begins to make preparation. For the eighth day of the Ashtami Titi is there, and he must now perform this puja. He begins to prepare. And why is he preparing? What takes place? The Katha tells to us. As Shiriram prepares, why is he preparing all of this Samagri? He's glorifying Devi Maya. Jai Jai Ambe Bhavani Ma 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 my dear friends that when we are preparing for our puja what you must do oh Rara, what we normally do when we are preparing for the puja well uncle does get a blow from the beginning because he forgets to wash the yard he didn't clean the dog kennel isn't that so the children just get a little buff up because they didn't finish clean their room in time and everybody just get buff up when we have puja, let us eliminate arguing. And if everybody do what they have to do, we will not have that. Isn't that so? On the day of the puja, imagine, sometimes on the day of the puja, Jai Bhagwan, problems. Why? Uncle didn't put on the kurta that auntie took out an iron for him. So that was one janjan. Isn't that so? The person throw the chana before the alu, Jai Bhagwan, and normally throw the alu before the chana, that is the next problem. Do not worry about anything. When you have puja, everything will be perfect. You know how? Glorify Bhagwan. Sing praises in whatever you are doing. And once you are putting God first, even the impossible become possible. Even whatever hurdles come in your path shall be removed, my dear friends. When we are preparing for puja, our minds must be in devotion. You know why? Where does the puja begin? It doesn't begin on the baby. The puja begins from the day you call Baba. A long time we used to visit Baba, yeah? But nowadays we call Baba. From the time you place the date for the puja, the puja has begun. You have begun prepar preparing for that puja. And that is where the puja begins, in the preparations for the puja. So, your puja actually begins before the actual puja. This is why, glorify God. Put God in your mind in everything that you do while he's preparing for your puja. Just like Shiddam, he doesn't know if he has food to give these people. But, he has faith in the Divine Mother. He sings praises victory to you, man. Jai Jai Ambe Bhavani Ma 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 Jai 
Many devotees would ask the question, Baba, if I am not able to offer dar every day during Navratri, how do I make up? The Devi Bhagavatam says, if you are unable to offer dar every day for the Navratri, on the Durga Ashtami you offer nine lota of dar on that day. But I will clear up something with you. Eh? The reason you are unable to offer the dar must be either out of health issues or maybe work or something of that sort not laziness not laziness you know some people will say Baba I ain't getting up nine morning now. one morning and all done that wouldn't work you get up every morning and do your puja make that sacrifice nothing comes easy and we want the blessing of Devi but if because of your work schedule or because of a health issue, you're unable to do some of the days, on the eighth day, you offer nine lota of dar and it is welcome to the puja. If you're unable to do any puja any of the day, on the eighth day, do your Durga puja. My dear friends, the Kumaris begin to enter into the home of Shivadar. The family members enters. And everybody's looking at what is taking place. But Shuradam beautifully bedecks the little kutya that he has. He beautifully bedecks the little kutya that he has. Whatever cloth he had, he used it to decorate. He took the knee briefs and he decorated his home to welcome the presence of the Devi. It is time that he must perform the Kumari Puja. But as he looks on the altar, as he lines up the Kumaris, the Kumaris begin at the age of two to ten years of age. From two years old to ten years of age. As he lines up the Kumaris, Shiradam realizes that something is wrong. He only has eight Kumaris, but there's nine Kumaris he should have. But again, but again, again Shiram, he, he doesn't do what we would do. He doesn't panic. He smiles. And he says, Oh, mom, I know. I know, Devi, you have a plan. I know that you would take care of this. I'm going to perform my puja. Shiram, he goes very beautifully and he begins his puja. And as he begins his puja and his offerings and oblations to the Kumaris, he sees a ninth little girl enter. And his little girl sits at the end. And he's about to worship. And as he's about to worship, my dear friends, this evening, I invite each and every one of you to sit up together. To sit together with me. And as Shiradam is worshipping the Kumaris tonight, let us all worship the Kumaris through the medium of Mansik Puja. Visualize the Divine Mother in your mind. Surrender to her lotus nine feet. He takes the flowers in the rice and he prays to Devi. Om Katyayanai Chavit Mahi Kanya Kumari Chadi Mahi Tando Durge Prachuriyatam He ushers the rice upon the Kumaris. He begins to wash the feet of the Devi. And as he's washing the feet, we worship together. Mai to puja karungi, mai to puja karungi, mai to puja karungi, Devi Maya. मैं तो पूजा करूंगी मैं तो पूजा करूंगी मैं तो पूजा करूंगी दुर्गा मैया 
दुर्गा मैया देवी मैया मैं तो पूजा करूंगी दुर्गा मैया मैं तो पूजा करूंगी मैं तो पूजा करूंगी मैं तो पूजा करूंगी दुर्गा मैया वर्ष की तभी देवी ही बिगिन सुप्रेसी चंदन के माइंस ऑफर इन चंदन of the tilak, the hardy, the sindur upon the forehead of the bee. Chandan chadhau durga meya Chandan chadhau durga meya Mai to pooja kadhungi devi meya Mai to pooja kadhungi devi meya He places the mala around the neck of the Kumaris and very beautifully offers Vasradana clothing. He places the red churari upon the head. We deck them with beautiful jewelry and ornaments. And then he takes prasad. He takes the food, the kiri, the sweet rice, and he feeds them. Oh ma, just your blessed spirit food. Today I offer my food unto you, oh ma. May you bless me with nourishment. He feeds them. प्रसाद चढ़ाओ देवी मैया प्रसाद चढ़ाओ देवी मैया मैं तो पूजा करूंगी दुर्गा मैया मैं तो पूजा करूंगी दुर्गा मैया दुर्गा मैया देवी मैया मैं तो पूजा करूंगी दुर्गा मैया And why is Arti in each Devi? He bows to a lotus like me. Ma, may you bless me. May you fulfill my heart's desire. Oh, Ma, hame daya karo, hame raksha karo, baadam baadam astar karo. Arti chadhao Devi meya, Arti chadhao Durga meya, Mai to pooja kadhungi Durga meya, Mai to pooja kadhungi Durga meya, Durga meya, Devi meya, Mai to pooja kadhungi Durga meya, Mai to pooja kadhungi Mai to pooja kadhungi Mai to pooja kadhungi Durga meya. As he offers Arti to each and every one of the Kumari, he gives them Dakshina. And as he gives them Dakshina, he bows to the lotus like feet. But as he reaches to the ninth Kumari, and he holds the feet of this Kumari who enters at the very beginning of the puja, and he places her feet upon his head. He gently opens his eyes because he feels a difference. He feels a difference. And he gently opens his eyes and when he looks upon the feet of this Kumari, he sees the mark of Sindhu. Who has the mark of Sindhu on their foot? When you look at Durga Mata, under her feet is always red when you look at the Murti. Under the feet of the Devi is tikkered with the Sindhu. 
Wherever the devi walks, she leaves a trail of sin behind. Why? She remains committed to her devotion. This is why. Sindhu represents commitment. And as he sees the mark of the Sindhu on the feet of his Kumari, he holds the feet. And as he holds the feet, tears begin to flow from his eyes. And as the tears are flowing from his eyes, he prays her mark. You have taken this rupa, this beautiful form of the Kanya. Rupa Kanya Kapana Banaya Manu Bhakto Kudar Sharikaya Rupa Kanya Kapana Banaya Manu Bhakto Kudar Sharikaya Rupa Kanya Kapana Banaya Manu Bhakto Kudar Sharikaya And I didn't know that you are here, Ma. My dear friend, the Katha is teaching us that when we have puja, when we have yajna, people will come. Treat them as though God has come. Atiti Devo Bhava. Your guest is your God. You know why? You don't know what form God is going to come to your home. This is why Dharma teaches us when guests come to your home, treat them as though God has come. You never know what form God will come to your home. My dear friends and devotees, he prays, Ma, I didn't know that it is you, but today, Ma, I am blessed to have your presence into my home. Tonight, we all are blessed to have the presence of Idevi in our lives. We glorify together with Shiradam. Dal hato ko mehni rachaya, mano bhakto ko dada sharikaya, rupa kanya ka apna banaya, mano bhakto ko dada sharikaya. Oh Devi, beautifully be decked with this mala, oh Ma. Gana mala saje, gana bala saje, oh Ma. Ma, I honor you today. You look so beautiful, oh Ma. When you look at the murti, the Devi has a red trinity on her head. The mehendi Ma, beautiful in her hands, with no mistake, but so beautifully she's be decked with a mala around her neck. The Divine Mother is sitting before us tonight. Do 
It is time now to feed your cat. When puja is completed, my dear friend, after bhajan is, and if it have no bhajan, it have bhajan. After bhajan is bhajan. Every puja, our elders will tell us, at least invite five house. Are you remember that? And cook a little food. You don't have to cook 99 takari, you know. Cook a little dal and rice and hashi. But give food that people eat. It is the blessing of prosperity and bharka. The Devi says, Shiradam, it is time to feed your guests. But Shiradam looks at the mother with what? What food, ma? She holds a pot in her hand. The Devi is called Ana Purna Mata, the mother who gives food. She says, Shiradam, go to your devotee. Ask them what they want to eat and I will give it to you. And everyone, whatever they ask for, she materialized it and she gave it to them. Imagine you go in a puja and anything you want to eat, you gain. Jai Bhagwan. But as Sri Radham reaches down to the end of the mandir, the end of his home, there's one person sitting there. Who is always at the entrance? Anybody know? When I came in the mandir, who are you met? Kal Bhairav Baba. Bhairav Nath sits there. But Bhairav Nath, he's filled with some abhiman. He says, I want tamasik bhojan. Shiradam, he paused for a moment. The Devi, she says, you must respect the home that you come to. And whatever you are given to eat, eat that. But Bhairav feels disrespected. He's thinking to himself, I am Bhairavna, you are a little girl, who are you? And he stands there with the Abhiman, and the Devi leaves and she goes. You know why? Wherever there is ego, wherever there is pride and Abhiman, the Devi is nowhere. Nowhere to be found. She leaves and she goes. But while she is going, Bhairavna is following her. He wants to know who is this little girl. And Shiradam is running, Ma, please do not go. And whilst they are going, what takes place? The Katha tells to us. Shri Durga Sharanam Mama. Shri Durga Sharanam Mama. Shri Durga Sharanam Mama. Devi Sri Durga Sharanam Mama. Shri Durga Sharanam Mama Shri Durga Sharanam Mama Shri Durga Sharanam Mama Bolo Shri Durga Sharanam Bhairavnath says, did you see a little girl enter to the cave? And this old man, he says, who are you? 
Who are you to speak like that? When we meet someone, how do we talk to them? The first thing you tell somebody when you meet them is what? Jai Sitara. Isn't that? And after you could say anything you want. But we always greet each other. Jai Sitara. Namaskar. But Bhairav Nath have Abhiman. He says, Who are you? But this old man has to reveal himself because he stands for truth. He stands for honesty. Who's this man? He kneels down there. They clasp hands together. And he, as he closes his hands together, and as he closes his eyes, who is this man? Jai Jai Kapisha, Jai Jai Kapisha, Jai Kapisha Hanumanta. Jai Jai Kapisha, Jai Kapisha, Jai Kapisha Hanumanta. Harmanji. Harmanji stands there with cross hands. He says, May Harman who? I am the protector of the Devi. He says, Which Devi? He says, The little girl that you are calling a girl is no ordinary girl. That is a Kanya Mata. That is Vaishnavi Mata. That is Durga Bhavani Mata. Have respect for her. Otherwise, I will have to discipline you. And so, he says, Call the Devi. And Hanumanji calls, Aho Maya, Aho. And as the Devi comes out of the cave, she bows to Hanumanji. The Devi bows to Hanumanji. She's teaching us we all are equal. And we must have respect for each other. And so, as she bows to Hanumanji, she stands there. Vayu Deva Varna Veera Vayu Deva Varna Veera Anjaya Tanaya Anjaya Tanaya Anjaya Tanaya Mahavira Jai Jai Kapisha Jai Kapisha Jai Kapisha Hanumanta Rama Bhakta Rama Duta Oh Rama Bhakta Rama Duta Yana Pandita Yana Pandita Yana Pandita Mahavira Jai Jai Kapisha Jai Kapisha Jai Kapisha Hanumanta 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 Baba Hanumanta Anumanta, Anumanta. Bore Pavat Putra Hanuman Ki. So Hanumanji just came and tell me something. And he said, Bab, he said, Dad, I'm not hearing the people clapping loud enough. Jai Bhagwan. I didn't say it, eh? So you know what you have to do next round. Bure Pavan Putra Hanuman Ki. My dear friends and devotees, Hanumanji stands there and the Devi comes in the roof of Vaishnavi Mata. And as Bhairav stands before her, she pulls that sword. And as she and swipes the sword, 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 it hits Bairo on his foot. Bairo falls to the feet of the Devi, and he begins to pray. The sword that the Devi holds, remember in our first night Katha, is the sword of discipline that cuts all attachment of ignorance, lust, greed, anger, abhiman. And this is what she takes out from Bairo. He falls to her feet and begins to pray, Ma, please forgive me. Have you ever noticed whenever you see the image of the Murti of Karl Bhairo, one of his foot always has a limp? This is the reason why. 
Calveiro Baba. He falls to the feet of Jesus. And as he falls at the feet of the Divine Mother, the Devi, he begins to pray, Ma, Ma, Guru, please forgive me. She says, but Bhaira, for your actions, they are consequences. She's reminding all of us. Every action, there are consequences. We must be careful of the way we carry about ourselves. We must be careful of the things that we say. We must be careful of the things that we do because it affects others. And there are always consequences for your actions. What are the consequences for bad of actions? She says, oh, bad of. Your puja will never be done upon a baby. This is what the Devi Bhagavat is saying. Bairo Puja is done on a Sadharan Puja. When Bairo Puja is done, you will see the fig leaf is placed, it is tikkid, and the Puja is performed there upon the earth, not on a baby. She tells the Bairo that whatever day is my day of worship will be your day of worship. Which day do we worship Kalbhero Baba? On a Monday or a Friday. What day do we perform Devi Puja? On a Monday or a Friday. She says, oh baby, whatever is my parsad will now be your parsad. What is the parsad of the Devi? Mita Bhat Sitai. Lapsi Suhari. Isn't that so? Pulse, fruits, coconut. This is what we offer to Kalbhero Baba. She says, oh Bhairo, whenever my puja is performed, if you are not worshipped, my puja is incomplete. Because from today onwards, you have to protect the home of my devotee. This is why when we prepare our parsad, our lapsi and suhari, how much pairs of lapsi and suhari we just prepare? Ten pairs. But we must understand these 10 pairs of Lapsi and Suhari. You know why I'm emphasizing on it? I am a pundit for 19 years. And I've heard these statements time and time again. Baba, I do pray to Kali Mata. So I don't make no offering to she. But I offer me 9 pairs of Lapsi and Suhari for Durga Mata, Baba. Bait, you had to offer eight. Because the seventh pair is for Kali Mata. Know what you are doing. Tuhi Durga, Tuhi Kali Bhavani. The bhajan says, very beautifully. Ambe tum ho jagad ambe kali, jai durge kapparavari, te dehe gunagai. Bharati o meya, ham sabu tari tiri aarati. Are you thinking are you okay after this one? Ambe tum ho jagad ambe kali, chai durge kapar wali, te dehe gunna gai. Bharati o meya, ham sabu tari tiri aarati o meya. हम सब तारी तेरी आरती परी है भारत मैया आरत तेरी उतारी मैया आरत तेरी तारी तीर परी है भारत मैया आरत तेरी उतारी मैया आरत तेरी उतारी तेरे सौ सौ सो पहे वाली तेरे गुण गाए भारती ओ मैया हम सब उतारी तेरे आरती अम्बे तुम हो जगद अम्बे काली जय दुर्गे कपर वाली तेरे ही गुण गाए भारती ओ मैया हम सब उतारी तेरे आरती ओ मैया हम सब उतारी तेरे आरती ओ मैया हम सब उतारी तेरे आ विभूषित दुर्गा बच्ची जो सुकाली 
Durga is Kali, Kali is Durga. There's no difference. You are Durga when you are peaceful and calm. And when you get vexed, Jai Bhagwan, you take the Rupa Kali Mata. Same Durga, same person. Many times you'll hear people say, Baba, I don't get myself involved with the deep poo chanting, you know. Because you had to carry on that and what and what not. But we light in the camp and we offer in the Lapsian Suhari by the Jalni. Who you are you offering it for? It's offered to Karl Bhairo Baba. It is offered to the eighth Rudra, the eighth form of Lord Shiva, who is called Karl Bhairo Baba. We as Hindus need to educate ourselves a little bit more. Karl Bhairo Baba is the eighth form of Lord Shiva. Wherever there is Durga, there is Shiva. Wherever there is Durga, there is Bhairo Baba, Lord Shiva. So the tenth fear of Lapsian Suhari is offered by a Jandistan for the protection of your home and your family and your belonging. And if this isn't done, the Devi says in Devi Bhagavatam, her puja is considered incomplete, my dear friend. This is why on the 10th day of Vijayad Dashami, before we leave with the Devi Murti, we will perform Sadhar and Puja to Bhairo Baba to bring victory to the Yajna, to bring protection and completion to our Puja and our Vrata. This is how it is for me. My dear friends and devotees, we must understand what we are doing. Our Dharma is so beautiful. So she says, Bhairo, these are the consequences. You will be worshipped on the day of my worship. Whatever is my prasad becomes yours. And my puja will not be completed until you are given an offering to bring protection to my devotees. Shiradami begs, Ma, please accept my vrat and devotion. Shiradam now understands that when the Kumari puja is being performed, you will notice a little boy is there. He represents Kal Bhairo Baba. Hanumanji stands on the right hand side. Durga Devi in the form of Vaishnavi Mata and Bhairo Baba is right there. If you look outside in one of our altars, you will see the beautiful Murti of Durga Mata, Hanuman Swami, and you will see Kal Bhairo Baba. Wherever Durga Mata is, Hanumanji is there and Bhairo Baba to bring protection. This is why every night we offer three coconuts to Hanumanji, Devi Ma, and Bhairo Baba. Bure Sri Jagadamba Mata Ki Shiradam. As he returns home, Shiradam doesn't see the little Mahal. He sees everybody outside and everybody is anxiously waiting for him to come. Why? As Shiradam walks close to them, they are saying, Shiradam. We see how powerful your God is. And when Shiranam looks to where the Kutya is situated, he doesn't see the Kutya. He sees a huge Mahal. When he enters into the Mahal, he doesn't see the little Murti that he had. He sees a big, beautiful, golden image of Durgama. He falls to the feet and he begins to pray. He begins to offer gratitude. He begins to thank that Divine Mother. He knows that this is the blessing of the Divine Mother. When we serve that mother from our heart, she provides for you. You don't have to ask for anything. She provides for you. She provides for her children. Once you surrender your heart to her, she provides for you. And Shiddam is most happy. Why? Because everyone now understands how great and how powerful that Divine Mother is. My dear friends, Shiridam is a true Dharma Putra. The question I leave you with tonight, are you a true Dharma Putra? Are you going to stand for your Dharma? Are you going to stand for your beliefs? Are you going to stand for your God? Tonight, think about that as you return home. Surrender to the feet of Devima as you join in this beautiful bhajan to glorify that divine Devi 
as you make preparations to join in 100 oblations and offerings into the holy and sacred fire. This evening, time doesn't permit me to explain the blessing of the nine forms of the Devi. What are the forms and what are the blessings? But on the night of, night of our Kanyakumari Puja, we will understand the various forms of Idevi, what are their offerings, and what are the blessings we gain when we worship the nine Kumari. Bule Jagadamba Mata Ki Jai. Devi Ma. Oh, yeah. 
As you join the chanting of that beautiful mantra to Devi Maya, as you make 108 ablations and offerings into the holy and sacred fire, I invite Pandidaran this evening to lead us in chanting Om Dum Durgai Namaha. Om Gatyai Nai Chavit Mahi, Kanya Kumari Chadi Mahi, Tando Durgi Prachodayata Swaha. Om Aim Him Klim Chamdai Vichay Namaha Swaha Om Aim Him Klim Chamdai Vichay Namaha Swaha Om Aim Him Klim Chamdai Vichay Namaha Swaha Om Dum Durgaya 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 Namaha Swaha 
ओम जुम दुर्गय नम स्वाहा 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 ओ मै मैम ग्रीम चामुदाई विक्षय नम स्वाहा ओ ह्रीम बलुकाय आपनाय कुरु कुरु बलुकाय ह्रीम ओम नम शिवाय स्वाहा ओम हं हनुमंदाय नम स्वाहा सर्वेभ्यो देवीभ्यो नम स्वाहा सर्वेभ्यो देवताभ्यो नम स्वाहा सर्वेभ्यो ब्राह्मणेभ्यो नम स्वाहाय स्थान श्री भैन पूर्ण बहुति ओ पूर्णमिधा पूर्णमिद पूर्णात पूर्णमुरच्यते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ सर्व वै पूर्णगो शांति स्वाहा अच्छा ओ सर्वपरम दिव्यम गंगे निर्मल जलम आचम गृहानमेशूरभूत गंजुगंजुतम अग्रहान सर्वीवान रूपोयम प्रतिग्रहित ओचसी ओचसी मोहिदी बलमसी बलमसी मोहिदी रूप दर्शया Bole jagaram me mata ki we join in the offerings of uh, the coconut as a invite to us to come before the murti we take the first coconut that is offered to hanuman ji this evening my dear friends let us pray to hanuman baba the divine god who is the embodiment of strength the one who blesses us with physical mental and spiritual strength salutation to hanuman ji ओ लाल देह लाली रसे अरुधर लाल रंगोर भद्र देह लाल बदलम जय 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 कपिशु यत्र यत्र रघुनाथ कीर्तनम तत्र तत्र कृतम सुकंजनम बस परि परिपूर्णालोचनम मारुति नित्यम रक्षा संकजम बोले पवन पुत्र हनुमान की पवन पुत्र हनुमान की जय 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 हनुमान गोसाई कृपा करो गुरुदेव की नाई जय जय जय
जय जय जय हनुमान गोसाई कृपा करो गुरुदेव की गुरुदेव की नाय गुरुदेव की नाय जय 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 हनुमान गोसाई जय 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 हनुमान गोसाई कृपा करो गुरुदेव की नाय surrender again and again to your lotus like Peter.
जग जननी जय जय मां जग जननी जय जय बेहारिणी बबतारिणी बबा भामिनी जय जय मां बबा भामिनी जय जय ओ प्रधान As you say, Jai Sita Ram. Shakabar ka ho re Sita Ram. Sita Ram, Sita Ram, Sita Ram. Shakabar ka ho re Sita Ram. Sita Ram, Sita Ram, Sita Ram. For class time, as you tell each other, Jai Sita Ram, we bow to the divinity within each and every one. May the blessings of Durga Mata be with you now and forever. Jai Jai Sita Ram. You may have your respectful seats. My dear friends, devotees and bhaktas, here's an invitation to join with us tomorrow evening again for devotion and also on Sunday morning from 8 a.m. We will have offerings to the feet of Devi Mata throughout the day. Feel free to bring your prasad, lapsi, suhari, your coconuts, whatever your heart desire. To offer to our Divine Mother and receive her blessings. We leave for Visarjan on the fifth to Tariqo Bay. Of course, those who do not have transport, the uh, members of the Mandir has arranged transport for those who do not have, and the cost is fifty dollars per person. You can talk to the President, Mr. Ramraj, or any other pujari or member of the Mandir to make the necessary arrangements. My dear friends, devotees, and bhaktas, let me take the opportunity this evening to thank Dr. Suchan and Desandra, Dr. Tyreek, and their wonderful parivar for joining with us this evening in devotion. May Durga Mata richly bless you and your wonderful family. To all you wonderful bhaktas and devotees, Arti Parasat Panchami to come your way. Bhojan is prepared for each and everyone. Please stay and party. Jai Sitaram.